Hey everyone, welcome back to Dinkum. So yeah, I kind of did some stuff offline. Uh, first of all, I got another gotcha machine. So we're going to go place that over here by our other one. I have to say I'm still not very good about getting the whole money thing. I just get a bunch and <laughs> because I don't know how else to do it um, and then I just put it back. I'm just careful and put it back. So yeah, there's that. So today we need to go get some iron ore. Um, I'm trying to make a silo. I need two more ore but I'm actually trying to get enough that I can make two silos. So um, yeah. That's kind of what I'm working on now. However, oh, no, get off. However, um, that's not where I want it. Okay, so we're going to put um, that back. So yeah, uh, what I have been working on offline is I kind of gated in my town, or fenced in my town. I made this retainer wall, which I'm not done with. It's mostly done. Um, I just kind of want to clear some of this over to the left, away from it, and over here, away from it. But as you can see, I made it all the way around. I got tired of the jackaroos always coming in here and pooping everywhere. There's plenty of poop to get out there in the other area. I found my doggo, who's probably hungry. Where'd you go, doggo? Oh, and I got um, one of these, I forget what they're called, um, but they produce... Oh, it's like a, um, there you go, baby. So, yeah, um, I forgot what they're called, but they sit there and they produce ores and st stuff every day. No, I want you to stay here, baby. And these are blooming. They weren't blooming, I think, because I had them too full. So they couldn't expand. So I just cut out the middle row of all of them. And now Doggo can just go freely. Good day. Doggo can go freely in town now. Um, and can't wander off. So that makes me feel so much better. I kind of finished building some retaining walls over here. Again, I'm not quite done. I need to get rid of all that. Um, I was digging and I got this worm box thing. I, I don't know what, if you're supposed to put something in it or what. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> and I kind of finished maybe making a retaining wall over here. Again, it's not 100% done, but it's much better than it was. So what I'm going to do now is go look for some iron ore. So we can finish these re these uh, silos because I want to put one in with the chickens and I want to put one in um, with our vombats so that it can auto feed them. Yeah, slowly but surely I'm just kind of trying to get everything organized and um, <clears throat> put together, I guess as much as I can so so yeah and it's the 12th of autumn so um trying to figure out where I'm going here where am I going well I might as well get this while we're here I just don't want to get full pockets and then I'm just stuck <laughs> with full pockets you know it's 
hard to pass up the ore, though, of any kind, really, when you see it. So, do I have another bridge over here anywhere? No, I guess I don't. Well, we'll just go across here then. Um, I think Sunday we'll see if John wants to hang with us again. He, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was so much fun. Okay, we're just looking for some iron ore or some really big rocks because um, a lot of times that will have them have it in there also. I know the best way to get iron ore is to go down the mines, but it takes me so long to do that. Um, and I don't need like that much, so I'm just trying to kind of get some on my own right now. Oh, look over here. Ooh, I think I just found the mother load. Yeah, I do have a diamond right here. Okay. But I think this is what I spotted from my rowboat the one day. Because I saw a ton over here. Yeah, this is pretty darn good pickings right here. <clears throat> I just kind of want to see how many I have. I meant to put that flower down. <laughs> and you can't have enough copper. Although I think I have an overabundance right now, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll use it. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, um, so just trying to get kind of organized and, um, so that's about four bars and I need seven, really, if I want to make two silos. So we're going to see if we can find some more. Um, that was pay dirt though, I'll tell you. That was pretty much pay dirt. So we'll go over here and look around. If we can find some big rocks that would help also. Unless we find just another little gold mine like we just did. I don't know if we'll be that lucky twice. <clears throat> I hadn't been out looking for a long time so I think a lot of it just had respawned and I hadn't been out here to look. So I think that's why we got so lucky with that. But yeah, um, maybe if we keep on heading over this way. We'll be lucky. Maybe, maybe not. You just never know. Here's a big area over here. Finding everything but iron. <laughs> I love the music. I tell you, I just it just amazes me how creative um, a developer can be to create a game like this, which is an amazing game. And um, to come up with everything. Not only that, but the imagination of that person who created everything um, is just phenomenal to me. It was like with Concerned Aid and Stardew Valley, same thing. It's just, wow. Oh, here's a bunch over here, guys. getting really lucky today I'm telling you okay so we've got five bars out of that um, could use a couple more 
so we'll just keep looking a little bit longer. Probably ought to eat something. Can always use tin or You know, if you think about it, they have to come up with the game, the ideas, the, the not just the storyline, but the um, the things to do, the goals, and um, then what everything's gonna look like. And I don't know if I've been over here or not. Now I'm I'm kind of lost. If I did, I miss copper right here. <laughs> not sure if I've been over here or not. But yeah, it just, it just utterly fascinates me how, how great the game is. It is my favorite game. One of my all-time favorite games. That's for sure. Let's see if we're lucky enough to find just a little bit more. Find some of those really big rocks, but I'm not even seeing any of those. Oh, and a couple things that I had Ted Kelly a cup um a few episodes back I saw him. I think I was offline though when I found him. Um because it was in the evening one night. And he really wasn't that far from me, which was kind of surprising. Far from me. He wasn't very far from my house. And um he kind of stayed there until I went and got the ingredients needed and was still there when I came back. And I had to do that a couple times. But I got these, um, it's like a shark lure. Oh, do I have that? Um, I think I do. I don't know where I went. Oh. I think I just got one the other day, actually. They're kind of hard to catch. It's a meadow, Katie. I think I've got one of those, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> got some shiny rocks, shiny stones too, which can produce iron ore. So, but yeah, um, one lures sharks. So I don't know if that means like when he, you know, when he gets really wounded, he kind of goes off into the water and you can't finish him off. I don't know if it helps with that, but there's another one for crocodiles. So I want to say he gave me a couple, three of each of them when I ordered construction of them. But I haven't gotten to try them yet. So maybe that's something we'll try out. Yeah, I think I have enough. I think it may just have enough. So we'll just kind of head back. See, that didn't take too long. We were just very lucky today. That's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. So. But yeah, um, I've just done a lot of crazy designing. I just, do we have any eggs over there? I don't see the nest. Oh, I do see the nest. No, we don't. Um. Yeah, I just got tired of the poop all over my town all the time. Kangaroos be bopping in and out. And I just was like, plus my doggo, I could never find him. And um, it worried me. I was so worried about him all the time. I'm like, I don't like to be that worried. Made me very stressed. So I decided to kind of pin him in the town. But he's got so much room in there. I mean, my town's not small by any means. And I left gates on either side so that the NPCs, you know, the town folk can come and go as they please. Wow. A little bit more for good measure. That's nice. Must be a good luck day.
<laughs> Always say that like in starting. It must be a good luck day. But yeah, so, um, you know, I just figured we might as well and make our town be a little cleaner and, um, and then keep Doggo safe. So, I feel a lot better having him there. Now watch me go there and he's not there. It's not anywhere. Because he found a way out. I am trying to be really careful so that... Like, I kind of made it high so that... Because the jackaroos kind of bebop around. They kind of hop. And I didn't want them hopping over the, the fences and stuff. So I thought, well, it's kind of like a... More like a retaining wall. I thought I had, um... Oh... I guess I may be on the right side. Oh, there's a uh, there's a bridge over there. But yeah, so um, I just figured. Plus, I think it looks good, you know. And I know you need some of their poo to make some stuff, and you can still find plenty of it out here. Trust me, I've already found a ton of it when I was just trying to construct the wall. <laughs> so not real worried about that. But yeah. So there's like, it's just like a retaining wall. I may think I'll plant some trees all along here, all around. Kind of shade a little bit and maybe some flowers. But yeah, there's gates. Um, so the villagers can go in and out. I'm going to have to plant more paths just because I'm getting tired of um, the grass. <laughs> And we do want to buy some more um, vegetables, some more stuff to plant. We're at the 12th of autumn, so we're not quite halfway yet through this season. So um, I don't know why we wouldn't be able to plant a bunch of stuff. Because I really want to get our farming level up. I'd love to be able to get sprinklers. And then if we need to move our garden to a bigger area, we can do that as well. Shadow. Come on in my room. <laughs> you know how he likes to come in my room. Where is my watering can? Where did he just go? Oh, it's right there. I had it hidden. Um, yeah. So. Oh, I am trained to water with an iron ore, you guys. Really. But yeah, because if we have to, I, mean, I kind of like that there, but we could extend the garden out very easily out this way, you know, so I'm not real worried about that. Get those going. Um, you know, I probably ought to, I gave you guys a bunch of feed yesterday. <clears throat> What do I need? Tin sheets? Yeah, quartz crystals. I don't need anything. Oh, we can put all that stuff away. Oh, looks like I have some shiny stones. Yay. So now he wants out. See, I'm just telling you. We'll just do that. Put our copper away. Um... Yeah, rain, um, must, oh yeah, it's after four. Dang it, we didn't make it back in time. We'll go buy some crops tomorrow. See if we can finish some of this stuff up so that we can make the silos and get them placed. But you guys, look how beautiful it is. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I wonder if Doggo's around somewhere. I wonder if he's still over here where I left him. You guys, if I walk around this town and he's not in here, I'm going to cry. I'm not even kidding. There he is. Hi, sweetie. Hi, my babe. You're so sweet. Okay. So we've got one silo we can make so far. I just don't know if there's going to be any more people moving in at any point. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't know. So let's 
find the silo and um, see if we can oh I also got these tiki torches um, a holiday light I think that would be fun to make too so we're gonna have to make some of those okay so we can make one silo and then um, I thought we would put one over here And from what I understand, you have to have these close. Close by. And then you have to put, I guess, some bird food in it. Or not bird food, but animal food. I don't know if it tells you how much you have in there at any given time. I have no clue. We have tons of animal food, though with leftover for the birds here, the chickens in just a few minutes when we make the other one. Yeah, we just put a ton in there. So, I mean, I, I don't, it just tells you to insert. So I don't think it tells you how many you have in there, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so all we need is one more of those. Oh, we do need some more stone. Did I get rid of all my stone? That's amazing, because I had a ton of stone. We'll just get that going. And we'll just go out here and um, get some more stone. Stone is easy to come by. That's for sure. And yeah, then we'll make some tiki torches also. I came out here and got a bunch of stone last night uh, while I was trying to, you know, get stone. <laughs> but I am sure there's just a ton more. That's one thing you can usually find me in abundance is stone. not usually a problem. Mm -hmm. um, we've got 18 out of 25. There's tons over here. Oh yeah, we've got plenty now. <clears throat> Never hurts to have a little extra, but we'll be fine. <laughs> so by removing a bunch of the um, dirt from over here, really open this up, which will be good in a sense because we'll be able to um, be able to do metal detecting a lot easier there. So that's kind of cool because it was really covered before. Okay, we got that, we got that. Problem's going to be where we're going to put the silo um, over by the chickens. Because um, I do want to buy more chickens, but I don't have a lot of room over here. And like I said, you kind of have to put it where... Um, I'm going to move that, and I'm going to move that. We can always extend the um, coop area as well if we need to. This is just going to be kind of for now. Okay. 
this. So where did those go? Um, why do I feel lost? They're there. See, I, I think I'm going to want to move the co other coops around as well. But I'm not going to do it now because they're sleeping. So... Like, for now, we can put that there. I think if we move this over here, where this feeder is, then um, there'll be room to put the feeder by the silo. And my dog's barking. So, please hold for a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm so sorry. He is my needy dog, and he's um, mostly deaf and blind, so he communicates by howling. And then he kind of shows us where he wants to go, and he was ready to go to bed. So I put him in our bedroom. Which is fine. That's all good. I'm just going to try to kind of put some stuff away. Um, yeah. <coughs> Plant one tree seed. Not a problem. Chat with the resident. Not a problem. Rain! I like don't real love the dark. Anyway, what's up, Riley? Need text here? Okay, that's funny. <laughs> Need text here. Hmm. Okay, so it wants us to plant a tree, which we want to do anyway. So, um... I'm just going to put some of this stuff away. Because we don't really need it anymore right now. So, let's see. I really like the, um, if we have some, we could do some palms. Because, um, that would be pretty over in this area, don't you think? I'm kind of liking that idea. I think I'm going to move this over here. I think that would be really pretty over here. And then that way if we need more palm wood, we'll have plenty. Not that we don't have our grove over there anyway. We could also do some coconut trees. I don't know why I did that first. <laughs> But yeah, it'll make it look really nice. That's one thing I love doing is just designing like the layout, like the town and stuff. That kind of designing I love. I'm not going to say I'm the best at it um, by any means, but um, I just enjoy it so much.
Yeah, I think this is going to be really pretty. <clears throat> um, we could do some coconut trees. Um, I think that would be pretty also. Let's just get some coconuts. Yeah, we'll just, um, I also want to get another, um, windmill thing, whatever they're called, and, um, put that over by, like, the building area. Yeah, I think when these bloom, and when I think we, oh, I was going to see if we had some rock path, or if not, make some, and put some rock path in between there. Otherwise, we're going to get grass growing in there, and I just think it's pretty anyway. We have six. Um, we can make a little bit more. Oh, I put my stone up. <laughs> Here I am trying to be organized, and then I need it. Isn't that just always the way? this tone up. <laughs> yeah, all right. So let's move that down here. And we'll just place some rock path through here. See how pretty that looks? And that'll keep the gat grass from growing. There. See, that's pretty. Yeah. I like it. I'm kind of wanting to do that here, too, just because grass keeps growing. Um... That'll look pretty. Okay. So let's, um, move that down there. That's our bluebell. Then we'll put our, um, baton sheet seat right there. Yeah, that looks much nicer, doesn't it? And again, it keeps the grass up. Um, yeah, very pretty. We could also do that for in here. I'm just not going to make it all tonight. But um, there's my doggo. Okay. Let's, um, let's try this out and see what it looks like. I love decorating. It's like almost my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Coming up with design ideas and figuring out what's going to look good where and then reorganizing if you have to because you're just like, man, that doesn't work for me. Could I do it as a living? No. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to. I don't think I'm that creative. But hey, it's fun. I think it's just fun to do. Okay. I need food. <clears throat> that didn't fit quite around the corner like I wanted, but I think it'll be fine. I 
I think once they grow, they'll just be really pretty. So I say, well, we have enough. Maybe, maybe not. We have to go get some more. We'll see. Those gotcha machines and the mining, um, I forget what it's called, but it's the mining drill thing. It kind of goes deep down into the, um, deep down to get the ores is what its purpose is. So yeah, we'll have to plant some more tomorrow. I think we'll go to bed now. Um, I think we've had a very busy day, but I think it's really coming along wonderfully. Again, I feel so much better that my doggo is um, now retained into my town. And I don't feel bad because he's got such a, a big area to go. Oh, I was going to see what it meant, meant to do this. Palm wood and tiki and wooden torch. Palm wood and wooden torch. I want to kind of get this unpinned. Um... Let's see, palm wood. Do I have any palm wood? I don't even have any palm wood. We'll do that um, in the next episode. And we'll build some tiki torches. Although, I'm not sure where I would put them. Unless maybe I kind of put them out here in the back area. And instead of these small ones, we could put the big ones and see what that looks like. Because in town... I really love the street lamps. Like, I think it gives it, and the little garden lamps, I think it gives it such a great touch. In fact, we need to make some more for over here. So, for the town area, I think it's just perfect um, <clears throat> with, uh, with the street lights. Yeah, and there's this area back here behind the buildings we can figure out what to do with. We could lay some pathing. Maybe and put maybe plant flowers. We can figure out what we can do there. Hey Theodore. See if there's anything in there. Nope. Um, nothing here. That's all right. What was on the board today? Cooking some bread. I'm short flour. Pretty sure I have flour. Reward is some bread. Okay. A space helmet. No, thank you. I'm so sorry. Um, one thing I did want to try. Do we have flour? Is it in here? Onion seeds. When do you plant those? Summer and spring. Okay. Can't plant those. We gotta not forget that. Not to forget that those are in there. Um, I don't think I have enough wheat to go in one of those. Um. Maybe we don't have any flour. Gosh, I'm out of light. Um, I have sugar. Well, we may have to plant some wheat, but I don't think we'll have it in time, so I don't think we're going to make that quest. Eek. I shouldn't have promised with that looking first. That was my bad. Okay, well, we will end here. I love how the, all the chests open and close. <laughs> kind of makes you a little nerve, nervous, like ghosts. Woo -hoo. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did hit, please hit that like button and uh, show it some love. And I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you all for viewing. Um, uh, you just don't know how happy that makes me. And it uh, makes me enjoy what I do even more so. So until then, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.